shutting down his ability to strike, more than just forcing what I want to do. So as soon as Dylan starts rearing in for punches, I want to use my duck hand approach of swimming inside. I'm not going to try and catch the end of the punch. I want to try and move off the center line to swim inside. Once I do, and I get that first arm, I want to replace the first arm with my knee. My guard opens up, sneak the knee inside, and I control the back of the tricep. This doesn't look like a very strong grip, but it's surprisingly hard for him to get out of because both sides have pressure and counter pressure going on. I flex the toes, I'm kicking against the arm as I'm pulling it in. I'm just holding it here, Dylan goes to pull out and get his arm out. When I'm pulling on the tricep and flexing here, it's a lot harder when he goes to move his arm. If he was a punch with the other hand, same exercise, moving off the center line first. If I stay here and I'm a little bit off, I might still get hit. But if I move off the center line, swimming in, anything that hits me will be likely to be deflected. I swim this knee now inside, both arms. Now I control and decide which approach I want to do. I won't hold this for long. We're going to switch one hand from the tricep grip down to the wrist. Slide down. I don't let go. Regrab because that hand might not still be there. I slide down to the wrist and control. And now I'm going to turn towards the arm I want, shoot the sole of the foot through to the bicep. And I don't stay here for more than a fraction of a second. I'm kicking right through, pulling him back in. Leg that's across the neck is always going to be under. And our feet aren't going to the sky. Heels down to the back, knees together. In this position, his ability to do damage with strikes, very, very little. I want to get the arm across. I want to bump my hips, two on one the wrist, push it across. And now immediately, it's the one spot I'm vulnerable. Open, get to the ankle. If I open and wait and start doing this stuff, the guy's gone. He's on a bus to Cleveland. He's never going to stay here out of the goodness of his heart. One move. Over, as straight as I can make it. The other hand, pushing his arm down, keeping it there. I'm going to scoot as far as I can. And a detail a lot of places miss. you got to pump the water well to get that remaining space out. If I pump the water well correctly, I'll get the sub, especially in an MMA contest, without even having the lock. I'll prefer that for the control. And I'll do what's called an impossible triangle, or an open triangle. I'll scoot, scoot, scoot. And from here, the pressure on both sides coming across, very, very tough on his neck for him to endure. If I don't get the sub, because you're not going to try and do it just to show off, I'm setting up my finish perfectly. Lock it in. Toes flexed up on both sides, dive underneath, intercostal obliques, hook the armpit, knees together to take out the space. And with the risk of being picked up and slammed, staying head on and pulling the back of the neck, that, that went out 10 years ago. That's a sport only application. It's not going to work with somebody who's vicious, who's going to pick you up and spike, who's going to run <coughs> your legs over your head. Get off the center line hook, and you'll see the success that that provides. And big Z in. Concentrating on not getting knocked out by his strikes. In the guard. Nick starts rearing back to strike. I'm going to swim off the center line. Swim in with my duck arm. As soon as I get control, replace hand with the shin on that side. From this position, if he throws again or I have him again already set up, I'll move in, get into my position. I can't stay here forever, so I have to know what my goal is. We're sliding down to the wrist, turning to that side. Sneaking the foot through. I'm making a lot more space because not all of us are super flexible. So I'm going to make the space I need, and now I kick through. Lock, heels down, knees together. If this arm's stubborn or he's hiding it and I can't bump it across, everyone come to this side. I'm going to shoot through and attack my razor. Dive into this side, open, ninja hand like a drill head. Dive under, lock the hands, dig it out this way. I'm not going for the sub. But this is going to help so much in getting his arm out of the way and across. Come back through, get it as straight as you can. Try the impossible or open triangle for today because it's going to teach you the correct setup. Push, push, push to scoot off the hip. Pump, pump, pump the water well. And see if with lateral pressure on both sides, I can get the tap just from squeezing. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. But when you don't, now you go right into your finish and you've already pre-cooked the turkey. Toes up, dive under the armpit, and squeeze the knees together, and that's going to be your best possible look at finishing when he's slippery, when he's going berserk, when he's trying to pick you up. Takes all the stress off my hips and low back, 
gives me maximum adduction pressure, knees together. I'm not trying to just lift my hips and pull on his head. I'm getting out to the side, Eric, and I'm making the space in here go from whatever it is to zero. I'll never get full zero, but I'll get close enough to put them out. Does anyone have any questions? Does anyone need to see it again? When you're pumping, are you moving him in? Like, what is changing other than Sure. So we have Desmondson in. So let's work whistle ahead. We're all the way into the choke. When I get to here, this is where so many people get excited to say, I never get triangles, I want it. So they start clawing at their foot, they start pulling and going nuts. You can lock up an ugly triangle that's going down his back, shredding your meniscus. It's not going to choke somebody good. I get it as straight as I can. And this is where the pump the water well detail comes in. I'm pushing. Now watch my body distance. Desmond's head this far. Okay. Look how much farther away I am. Now I've pumped out the space so not even a piece of paper would fit. And now the pressure on both sides cutting across is adding up. This isn't how I choose to finish my trial. This is how I set him up. And if he taps now, great. If not, I lock right up and in. Feet flexed on both sides. I dive under Desmond to hook here. Now if he tries to pick me up, it would be like a man standing in a bucket picking himself up. Very biomechanically weak. All right. Let's go back to our original partners. Two for two. I want you guys to throw the strikes, give the person a live look, let them swim in, work the duck hand, replace with the shin. All right. 